Trinidad and Tobago, it's your boy Daniel, and we are out here in the streets of San Fernando here today, and we come out to ask this simple question that we ask around Trinidad and Tobago, what you know, and this episode is sponsored by Annan's Gold and Diamond Collection. We just want to know what you know, if you know anything you know, you may know, I may not know, but we just want to know what you know. Let we go. What does the first T in TNT stand for? <laughs> the first T in TNT. Hmm. Oh, I should put it across. Like, terrific. <laughs> terrific. <laughs> terrific. Yeah, terrific. <laughs> The Emperor Valley Zoo in Port of Spain. What insect is this zoo named after? Um, that's what I want. What is that? The Botanic Gardens, question. The Botanic Gardens, you know. That's an ants, man. The zoo. A zebra. A zebra. No God. No, God, please, no, no! Can you spell the word jewelry for me? G W E L. What does the first T in TNT stand for? Trinity. <laughs> what insect is the Emperor Valley Zoo named after? Ziba. A what? Ziba. And this is the last question here, nothing too difficult. So you have 16 pieces of jewelry that you buy from Anand's Gold and Jewelry Collection, right? You sell six pieces of them, of them jewelry, right? So tell me, how many pieces of jewelry do you remain with? I suppose that ten. Give me a high five. Yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah. Give, give me one more. Give, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, there, man. <laughs> what does the first T in T and T stand for? I believe in you, brother. I believe in you. I believe in you. Try thing now. What does the first T in TNT stand for? You confused, you confused me, man. I, I go in home. I go in home. I did it. I did it. The Emperor Valley Zoo in Port of Spain. What insect is the zoo named after? Mosquito? A person from Trinidad is called a Trinidadian. So what do you call a person from the Caribbean? A, cor um, a, 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 a Caribbean, a, a Caribbean, something, something, a Caribbean a, artist. Where do that for? A Caribbean. I'm going to pick a real easy question here for you. What is the difference between subtract, take away, and minus? Well, sub subtract means you take to take something and minus mean is um, something less, more than something. And I walk in. What's 9 plus 10? 21. What does the first T in TNT stand for? T. T. The first T is T. God, God, why now? A person from Trinidad is called a Trinidadian. So what do you call a person from the Caribbean? Mm. Third world people. <laughs> I want to go home. I don't want to. I, I want to go home. The Emperor Valley Zoo in Port of Spain. What insect is there named after? Valley. <laughs> what is the difference between subtract, take away, and minus? Sub subtract and take away is the same thing, and minus is the minus. Go and sit down. He's our boss. He's our boss. So I wait to say after me. I's a boss. Yeah. I's a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I's a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I's a boss. I'm a boss. A little loud. I's a boss. I'm a boss. Yeah. Give me a high five, man. Respect, man. Two thousand years later. Caribbean, Caribbean. I can't get that, boy. Caribbean. Oh, I can't, okay. yeah. Not a Caribbean tourist. Cari not a Caribbean tourist. A Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean. One, two, three. I said boss. Let me hear you. I said boss. Together. I said boss. A little louder. I said boss. A little louder. I said boss. 
Nice, wow. <laughs> so then, can you spell the word guaya guayari for me? Yes, I can. J U A Y A G U A Y A R E. Give me a high five. Say this. I a boss. I a boss. A little loud. I a boss. I a boss. One more time. I a boss. I a boss. Nice one. <laughs> so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Uh, I should do a dick practice with this one, boy. A Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean. Yes, oh God. Eh. A Caribbean. Uh, 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 a Caribbean artist, right? Caribbean artist. Can you spell the word in November for me? November. N N N O N O N O. Well, like N O D. N N N N N. N O V N O V N O E V I. We're going to add on Tobago. We're out here with Nicholas here today, and we just want to give him a grand prize of $2,000 here today if he can answer five simple questions. This is the first question, right? The Emperor Valley Zoo in Port of Spain, right? What insect is this zoo named after? A butterfly. This is the second question here. Can you spell the word in November for me? N O V E M B E R. And this is the third question here. Nothing too difficult. What does the first T in TNT stand for? Trinidad. And this is the fourth question here. Nothing too difficult. I'll pick a difficult question for you here. You have 16 pieces of jewelry, right? You sell six. How many pieces of jewelry you mean with? Ten. And this is the last question here. Nothing too difficult. Here this. Spell the word Wi Fi for me. W I F I. Give me a high five. Give me. This boy's up. Yo, Trinidad and, Trinidad and Tobago, it's your boy Daniel, and we are out here in the streets of Sangri Grandi here today, and we come out to ask you the simple question that we ask around Trinidad and Tobago, what you know? We just want to know what you know, if you know anything you know, you may know, I may not know, but we just want to know what you know, let me go. I give him bread and ham together with a punching. Brother, here we are. go home, go man take a rest, check my back later. I'll check all back tomorrow. I'm gone. Where is the testicles located? Oh God, you really like Bacadale? Eh? <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time. Where is your testicles located? There. Yeah. Nice. Your testicles located? Yeah. Your, your own? Yeah, there, there, there. Nice. <laughs> How many times for the month do you see a menstrual cycle? Once. Can you tell me what is a flyover? A flyover? It don't have no flyover. It, it's a walkover, but it don't have a flyover. Your testicles? I ain't got no testicles. Ain't nobody got time for that. You ain't got that. Mm -mm. She ain't got that. She ain't got that. Can you spell the word reindeer for me? Yes. Oh, what should put to meet you all? Try your thing, darling. I believe in you. I believe in you. R-A-I-N. D E A R. I give him bread and ham together with a pastel. Hey, chin, chop bread. Hey, what's your cream, man? Sorry. A glass of local wine went to his head and he turned to me and said, Oh, yes, chin, Christmas is the best. What is a flyover? Um, That is what is in the intersection of Grand Bazaar. You know, you use it to get over the highway. It is where cars pass. They see this flyover thing, you're trying to confuse me here. We're going through that. Nobody here want that. Yeah, well, go home and take a rest and check me back later. Check me back later. Trinidad and Tobago, we're out here with Tyrese here today. And we just want to ask him this simple question that we ask around Trinidad and Tobago. What you know? This is the first question here. Nothing too difficult. Can you tell me what is a flyover? What is a flyover? Mm -hmm. A plane. A plane? <laughs> okay, this is the second question here. Nothing too difficult. I wait to finish this song for me. I give him bread and ham together with her. Ham. Sam. Try, try one more time. I give him bread and ham together with her. 
Bread. Bread. Okay. This is this is the second question, the third question, and nothing to do with it. I believe in it. Can we spell the word Christmas for me? It's Christmas time. Spell Christmas for me. Christmas? Yeah. Come on. Uh, key. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, my brother. Love in the building. Love in the building. Love, love in the building. Pull aside. Pull aside. This man coming. I'm waiting on you. Come, 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 come. Spell the word, spell the word Christmas woman. See you trying to stay, miss. Give me a high five. Yeah, but kiss the boss, boy. My brother, we ain't done with you. You're gone. Love in the house. This girl is taking my heart from me. She said goodbye too many times before. And here is hurting and hurting me and I've got no choice to take it back inside anymore. Williams, you're cutting an orange here. Can you spell the word orange? For me? Oh, oh God! Do Williams, do Williams, come back here, come back here, do Williams, do Williams, come here now. Who are E N G? Spell it. Who are E N G? How many national songs are there of Trinidad and Tobago? National songs. None. Really, nigga. National song you said, right? No. Yeah, no. No national. I, I, none. No national songs. None. Without singing, give me the last five letters of the alphabet. Oh, God. X, Y, Z. Donuts are 12 cents per dozen. How much are 100 donuts? Well, 12,000. 12,000. <laughs> if donuts cost 12 cents per dozen, how much does a hundred donuts cost? Well, well it's not cost because it, it costs nothing. It costs it cost nothing because the name is donuts. Finish the famous Forrest Gump quote from a life is like a box of. I ain't long. Chatting, right? Life is like a box of. Ah, uh, oh, I can't say. Chatting, chatting, I believe in you. Life is know. like a box of it, right? A box of, a box of, a box of, a box of bees. A box of bees? Yeah, I can't say that one. In what year did Dwayne Bravo invent the steel pan of Trinidad and Tobago? Nah. Try that thing. Nah, alright. I'm gonna go for uh 1952. Who is the current president of Trinidad and Tobago? I catch ya. I catch him Trinidad and Tobago. The woman I really care machine oh, no, right chatting, now. chatting, chatting, chatting. Who is the current president of Trinidad and Tobago? Miss Mary. I really care, man. Mary. What is Rowley's last name? He named it last. Hmm? Name. <laughs> In what year did Dwayne Bravo invent the steel pan? Okay, I don't make a one choice. 2015. Spell the word top for me. It's a different um, it's a different top you know, with top. Right, spell the word top, like the top of the mountain. Spell the word top for me. T U P. T U P. T U P. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
have anything you could do, you could sing, you could do poetry, something. Anything? You could sing just, yeah, just a little bit. Bust down a line for me. Bust down a line for me. Trinidad and Tobago watching right now. Let me hear This girl is drinking my heart from me. She said goodbye too many times before. And it is hurting and hurting me. And I've got no choice to take it back inside anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Cam. Cameraman, step back a little bit. Show me. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. What the <laughs> One more time, one more time. Oh, cool. I gotta try this thing. But... Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yo, Trinidad and Tobago, it's your boy Daniel, and we are out here in the streets of Pinal here today. And we come out to ask the simple question that we ask around Trinidad and Tobago. What? You know, this episode is sponsored by Rubbermaid. We just want to know what you know, if you know, anything you know, you may know, I may not know, but we just want to know what you know. Let me go. What does DUI stand for? DUI? Well, that, it could stand for many things. It could just... Um, DUI. The, the, the university. Okay. One more time. What does DUI stand for? The university. Uh, I, 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 the university. I of the island. Or? <laughs> How much percent alcohol is there in water? Twenty percent. <laughs> I'll say one more time. One more time because I really like you, and brother. I really like you. How much percent alcohol is there in water? 70%. <laughs> what is the significance of Ash Wednesday? Um, they, the cleansing and Lenten after. No, no. They, the cleansing after Carnival. Give me a high five. Just, no, no, no. I, I want to rag for you. He deserves a cup because he's a boss. He's, he's a boss, brother. Say this to me, he's a boss. He's a boss. I'm, so, I'm going to give you this very beautiful jar here. Given by Rubbermaid. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let me ask you a question. Look, this is yours, my brother. Tell me one reason why you like Rubbermaid. Rubbermaid? Because they're the best coolers around. They make the best coolers and stuff. And you could hold the coolness of the drinks inside the cooler. That's what we're talking about. Give a high five. That's what we're talking about, man. Big up yourself. How many days are there in February? February. 31. So, how do you spell the word cooler? Because Rubbermaid gives you some great coolers this carnival. So, how do you spell the word cooler? C L W O L E R. Who is the current Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago then? Right now? Yeah. Well, the boss. The boss. The boss? Yeah. This Rubbermaid bandana is just for you. Just for you. You could use it. You could wipe down your car. You could wipe your face when you're sweating a little bit. That, I like it. I like it. I like it. You see, you, you see how good Rubbermaid is to you? I love it too. Huh? I love it too. You love it. I'm glad you like it, man. I'm glad you like it. Give me a bunk. Give me a bunk. That's what we're talking about, my brother. Rubbermaid is the way. You don't know. Who was the first person to ever win Soka Monarch? Uh, uh, nah, me ain't know that one. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, what? You ain't get all my questions correct, but I'll still get some me because I really like you. Do you like to fet? Yeah, Do you like yeah, to fet? Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah. one fet you going for the carnival? Fire fet. Fire fet. So I'm giving you this red bandana to signify fire, right? So I'm gonna sing a song and I want you to mash up the place. Every day, yes, fet. I come out of fet. I better fet in. Yeah, job, love, boy. Yeah, boy. But like the man don't know the song. <laughs> you don't know. We fet in this carnival with rubber made coolers, you don't know. Yeah. Can you spell the word fet for me? F E T H. Boy, if you don't get spell the word environment for me. E N V I R O N M E N T. Environment? I N V O R E M E N T. Give me a high five. That's what we're talking about. See this one, it's a boss. 
That's a boat. That's what we're talking about, man. <laughs> How much percent alcohol is there in water? 99%. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. How much percent alcohol is there in water? 99%. Damn! With regards to the law, what does DUI stand for? Driving under the influence. Ooh, ooh, there's a boss, boy. Say this, I's a boss. I's a boss. I didn't think you was a boss, but you're a boss. Yeah, it's a boss. <laughs> I's a boss. Tell them they didn't think I was a boss, but I's a boss. They didn't think I was a boss. I's a boss. I'm a boss. Bring thing, bring thing. Bring one for me to bring a rubber made bandana for my brother. Hold this. We're gonna party right now. We're gonna party right now. We're gonna party right now. You like soccer? What's your favorite soca song? Iowa George. You hold it and we're gonna perform this song for me. Let me hear you. Run thing. Run thing. You stand up in the middle, you take the stage and you run thing. Let me hear you. Trinidad on fire. Tobago on fire. Hey, Trinidad on fire. The people want soca. Go home. Go oh. home. Ready to mash up the place. I'm ready. I'm ready. If you're ready to mash up the place, say, I'm ready to mash up the place. I'm ready to mash up the place. This is the first question, darling. Can you spell the word masquerader for me? M A S Q U R A D E R. The Friday before Carnival, what is it called? Fantastic Friday. This is the third question here, nothing too difficult. How many days are there in one year? 365 days. Oh, and this. Six and good, good. Can you spell the word bread for me? Bread? Yeah. B R E A D. And this is the fourth question here, nothing too difficult. So you're going by rubber made and you buy a cooler. You put 16 drinks in the cooler and you drink six. How many drinks do you remain with? In the cooler? Yeah. 16 minus 6, well, 10. And this is the last question here. Nothing too difficult. Who is Dr. Eric Williams? Dr. Eric Williams is the father of the nation, first Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Right, you answered my first question wrong, so I'm going to give you our next chance. I'm going to give you our next chance because I really want to give you this $2,500 here today. So can you spell the word masquerader for me? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I'm going to get to celebrate because I believe you could do it. You ready? You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masquerade for my here today for twenty five hundred dollars. M S Q U E R D E R. Oh Lord, make some noise! It just went twenty five hundred dollars. So darling, we fatten here. We fatten here. You like soca? What's your favorite soca song? Oh gosh, I can't just pick one, boy. I can't just pick one. Every day is for I come out of a tap, better for ten. More than you. It's for I come out of a tap, better sweating. More than hey, you. I want to win that jam and I show to catch it. More than you. Hey, but when I catch it, no, of course, I just do it. Like a boy. Hey. Can you tell me how many letters are there in the alphabet? Well, the alphabet to the understanding is no alphabet at all. To the understanding, they have rewritten, supposed to go down the road, to the understanding of the effect that being supposed to know we ABC. <laughs> to the understanding of the impact that they do onto we, to make we believe from A for A, B to B to B to C to C and Z to Z. It didn't make no sense. That making any sense? This is the next question here, nothing too difficult. If someone didn't attend your funeral, would you attend theirs? To the understanding of my funeral, of their burial, I send my condolences to the family. If they don't want to invite me, they can't come to my funeral because at the end of the day, my funeral is a private funeral. Right, so if someone didn't attend your funeral, would you attend theirs? I will attend theirs, but you know at the end of the day, the family will not attend me. To the understanding, to the impact, to the effect that they didn't want me to come to the home, come to the wake, to the understanding of the church, to the understanding of all righteousness and equal right and justice. And this is the third question. I think yeah. too difficult. If a person was born in 2000, how old are they? Well, to the understanding of God, never give we age. So the end of the day, how we live in is not our God. And to the understanding, religion was supposed to do the right thing for to live right. So at the end of the day, years is no part of God. 
And this is the next question here. Yeah. Nothing too difficult. Where did Tobago get its name from? Tobago was discovered to the understanding of a man who's sailing on three ships and make we look like a fool to the understanding that Christopher Columbus wasn't righteous to the understanding of the Almighty God. So Tobago and America and the whole world to the understanding of what taking place in Trinidad and Tobago ain't supposed to be going on. So at the end of the day, what I am telling you fully, the discovery is the Almighty God, not religion. Uh, thanks a lot for competing, man. Is Trinidad and Tobago one country? Nah. So what is it? Tobago and Trinidad. So is Trinidad and Tobago one country? If Trinidad and Tobago is not one country, then what is Trinidad and Tobago then? Separate from Tobago. Trinidad separated from Tobago. Separated by water. with the number one doubles man in Tobago here today. So today, you know what I want to give you today? Yeah, yeah. I want to give you an all expense paid trip to the Mount Irvin Bay Resort. What do you think about that? Yeah, I could do that. Do you like the Mount Irvin Bay Resort? Yeah, man. Love it. If you had to describe the Mount Irvin Bay Resort in one sentence, describe it for me. Slide. 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 Slide with pepper. If someone didn't attend your funeral, would you attend theirs? Well, me, I don't really attend funeral, so you know. So if someone didn't attend your funeral, you, you, you wouldn't attend theirs? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't really go funeral. I might go the week, but I don't really attend funeral, really. Is Trinidad and Tobago one country? No, they're separated it's by the sea. So it's not one country. <laughs> Sorry. If a person was born in 2000, then how old are they today? In 2018. You smart. If a person was born in 2000, then how old are they today? 2017, which India is 27. <laughs> 27. So if a person was born in 2000, then they are 27 today. Ask her right question. If a person was born in 2000, then how old are they today? If you were born in 2000, is this one year? <laughs> how many thousands are there in 150,000? What? How much one? How many thousands are there in 150,000? In what population? What system of population are you asking that? In what proportion of system? How many thousands are there in, in 150,000? Where? 150, How many thousands are there in 150,000? <laughs> A million. <laughs> this is the next question here. Nothing too difficult, right? Give me an honest opinion on the Mount Irvin Bay Resort. 